Welcome back. Let's go ahead and start off with a look at our current temperatures around the area. Still a mild start to the day for a vast majority of us here across Northeast Missouri. Temperatures have worked their way into the lower 50s elsewhere, just down into the upper 40s. We've seen a couple areas warming up by a degree or so, and we're going to be looking for this trend to continue as we go through the next few hours before we start to really see a major jump in temperatures just by about 9 to 10 a.m. As for what we're looking at for wind speeds, not all that strong right now, but we will see some stronger winds moving in later during the day. The direction that will hold the same out of the north northeast gusts will eventually get up towards about 20 to 25 miles an hour in the early afternoon, but they do taper off as we get in towards the overnight hours. Things will get a little bit calmer as we head in towards Tuesday. As for what to expect for temperatures later on during the day, 7 a.m. still holding in towards the upper 40s and low 50s. And then as we get in towards the early afternoon, we see a quick break in the cloud cover. We do have mostly cloudy skies to start, but as we get into the afternoon, we're going to see a lot of the sunshine extending from our northwest corners down through the southeast corners, but we will be holding on to some cloud cover mainly along our eastern and right up towards the Mississippi River. So we will be looking for partly sunny skies across the area today. Temperatures in the upper 60s and low 70s. So getting back even above the average for this time of year for some of us. So a very, very nice start to the work week. As for what to expect heading through the overnight hours, Temperatures do get a little chilly at times tonight, dropping down in towards the upper 30s and low 40s, but they really rebound by the time we're already getting in towards the 7 a.m. hour back towards the upper 40s and low 50s for us. And then another very similar forecast on tap for Tuesday. Sunnier skies, temperatures pushing back in towards the upper 60s and lower 70s. But then things start to change. We have two cold fronts that will work their way through the area through the work week. The first one headed our way over the course of Tuesday night into Wednesday. Both of these cold fronts will bring a chance for some rainfall. First up is the one Tuesday into Wednesday. Most of us will be looking for rainfall to pick up earlier in the morning on Wednesday and going ahead and jumping into our future cast here. So there's that cold front. It's already worked its way off towards our east. There's the rainfall starting to pick itself up from our west. A lot of that is going to be held off towards the west of I-35, but we will see development moving in. And I've actually changed up the model outlook. The, I chose a different one from what we saw in the 530 Good Morning Heartland show because I like the progression of of this rainfall a lot more. I want to see it encompassing more of our area, which I'm expecting it will. So we are starting off though roughly the same timeline, just about 5, 6 a.m. to see rain showers starting off. And then as we get later into these morning hours, we see more widespread rainfall. Are we going to be expecting any type of thunderstorm activity? Not at all. We are looking at mainly showers, cloudy skies rolling into the area. Everything else you need for a thunderstorm to occur is really not coming together. The what we call cape or available potential energy that's not there. We don't see enough there, energy in the atmosphere to cook up a thunderstorm. And then we really start to see this rainfall moving out by the early afternoon. A big help is going to be this high pressure system. As it rolls in, it's just going to drag in some drier air that's going to help kind of flush all of this moisture out. And then round number two, headed our way over the course of Thursday into Friday. There's that secondary cold front that dives on in, heading in towards Thursday. Some widespread rainfall expected. Thunderstorm potential well higher than to, uh, Tuesdays into Wednesdays. Still not expecting to see our best chance for thunderstorm potential on Thursday. As for your extended forecast, those cold fronts will drop temperatures from Tuesday into Wednesday and Thursday into Friday, but we're still staying very spring-like. Now stick with us. Tech Bites is up next.